Loose yourself, brother. I'm telling you, yes, tonight. Yes, Lord. Oh, Shanta, the Bokoro Messiah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We lift up a praise unto the Lord most high, most high. We lift up a worship tonight. We lift up a worship. 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 We lift up a worship unto the Lord tonight. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, lift up a mighty praise. Come on, son, pay attention in the Holy Ghost. Lift up a mighty praise. Lift up a mighty praise. Lift up a mighty praise. Come on, get them worship up. Get them worship up. Pull down every stronghold tonight. We're pulling down every stronghold. 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 We're pulling down every stronghold over this house, over your house, over your business, over your family. We're tearing down and demolishing every foul devil, every attack from hell. Come on! It's worship time. Yes. 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 Tell the Lord yes. Tell the Lord yes. Tell the Lord yes. 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 Yes to your anointing. Yes to your deliverance. Yes to my breakthrough. Yes to my miracle. Yes to my deliverance. Yes to my breakthrough. Say yes. Come on, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Give the Lord a mighty shout, everybody in the house. Get them hands up and give the Lord a clap offering. Give him a clap offering. I said a clap offering. I said a clap offering. I said a clap offering. Give the Lord a clap offering in the house. In your house. Wherever you are. Give the Lord a clap offering and tell the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Come on, bless the Lord. And forget not all his benefits. Hallelujah. 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 Be seated in the presence of Hel Helion, the most high God. Today we greet you from Temple of Praise and the broadcast. It's called Revival Time. And we originate out of Spanish Town, Jamaica. If you have joined us on CVM, we celebrate you and bless you by Radio Best FM 100, Hot 102, MTM TV Cable Network, and streaming live on the Revival Time World Wide Web at revivaltime.webs.com. And if you are a temple of praise, we bless you and greet you in the mighty, exalted name of the eternal Yeshua, Amashia Jesus. Put your hands and love him, love him, and love him. We are so thrilled and excited that you'll join us another week for revival time. Call a friend and tell him your radio bishop is on the air. I do not only, I don't, I don't just pastor temple of praise, I pastor nations. And when the time is come, when the time is ripe, I'll tell you some places that we are located around the world. And I'll tell you what God is doing around the world. 
Right now we're beaming live and coming pre-recorded from Temple of Praise. My announcer is coming to bless up a couple of you. We can't take you all, but you know once your request comes in, we celebrate you, we are praying. Now join me this Tuesday. This Tuesday, it's an old-fashioned hell-wrenching, devil-destroying, fasting coming up, catch, kill, and destroy. Every demon that is fighting you, every foul devil, catch, kill, and destroy. Slap your neighbor in the Holy Ghost and tell him, we're going to catch, kill, and destroy every foul spirit. To your name, Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And we give God all the glory and all the honor. We thank God that we are in his presence. Hallelujah. And we just want to bless Almighty God for all of our friends and partners who continue to tune in to the Revival Time message and broadcast. We want to bless God so very much for you. We know that God is doing an awesome thing in your life. Hallelujah. And we want to celebrate God with you. So we encourage all our friends to let us know by what means you are receiving Revival Time. And we want you to share your testimony with us because we are determined. We are are determined to take this message of Almighty God around the nation and around the world. And this week, we just want to bless Almighty God for some of our friends who have made contact with us on Revival Time. From out of St. Anne, Revival Time reaches Karen, Kareen, Kemar, Lloyd, Siobhan, Dwight, and Suzette, Kamara, Charlene, Kanisha, Melita, and Kadisha. We also celebrate with some of our friends in Trelawney, Chantel, Shelley, Keisha, Miss Deandro, Bennett, Heather, Nadine, Marlene, and the Johnsons family. Revival Time also reaches some of our friends here in St. Catherine, Karen, Suzine, Ricardo, Ernest, Patricia, Hazel, Peaches, Naomi, Monique, and Rita. We also thank God for some of our friends in Clarendon, Elizabeth, Anton, Nicola, Laverne, Chantal, Sashield, Felisa, Janelle, Suzine, and Germaine. God bless you, friends, and thank you for making it revival time. I want to let you know that God has given you the power to tread upon every serpent and upon every scorpion and over every power of the enemy. And let me tell you, friend, this is the good part. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Can I say that again? Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. We also have some wonderful friends who continue to make it revival time on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter and we want to just bless almighty God for you. We want to extend a big God bless you to sister Williams and her family from Crafts Hill Clarendon. We thank God so very much for you. Thank God also for Pastor Richards and First Lady Richards and the saints of God over there in the assembly of the firstborn in Palmer's Cross. God bless you so very much, sir. We are praying for you, sister Jessica from out of Florida. Sister Judith we remember you from out of Michigan. Also to Brother John, we are praying for you all the way from out of Pakistan. And we want to thank God for Sister Brian all the way from out of England. We thank you so very much for making it revival time. We thank you for your prayers and we thank you for keeping in tune. We also know that you are tuned in. Sister Jacqueline Johnson. Jada and Chanel Castle from out of Mineral Heights, Maypen. We know you're tuned into Revival Time. And we also bless God for the Ferrans family over there in Maypen. Bless Almighty God. We want you to know that you can tune into the Revival Time programs when you join us on our website. That's revivaltime.webs.com. That's revivaltime.webs.com. You can view our services live or pre-recorded. You can also send us an email at revivaltime70 at hotmail.com. Join us also on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash revivaltimeministries. Maybe you want to just join us right here at 8 Morrison Street, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. We have our services. On Sunday nights, we begin at 6.30. Tuesday is our fasting service, and you dare not miss one. We also have our midweek service on Wednesday nights at 6.30. And join us on Sabbath mornings, and we begin divine worship at 9 a.m. We invite you to call our prayer lines. Our prayer lines are open, and someone 
here is willing and waiting to pray on your behalf. Our prayer lines are 757-2749-984-4398, 865-HELP. That's 865-4357. The text line remains 354-6269. And we want to remind you again that this line can only receive text messages. So tell us who you are and where you're texting from so that we can acknowledge you. Hallelujah. This week's broadcast, if you'd like to order, is broadcast number 1297. So write that down, friends. That's 1297 for this week's broadcast. And you want you to add this to your collection because this message is one that you want to have to keep and to play over and over and over again. Hallelujah. We also want you to partner with us. As we take this message of God around the world, we have an account, and it's at the National Commercial Bank. The account number is 471-058-157. That's 471-058-157. So while you're out there, the National Commercial Bank, doing your own personal banking, I encourage you, take this account number with you and sow into the kingdom of Almighty God because when you do, you will reap a harvest of blessing. Stay tuned to the Revival Time message in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 At this time, I'm going to invite you to stand for the reading of the word of Almighty God, which comes to us from the book of Judges, chapter 16, reading verses 23 through to verse 31. That's a reading of the word, which comes to us at this time from the book of Judges, chapter 16, reading from verse 23 through to verse 31. Then the lords of the Philistine gathered them together for to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon their God and to rejoice. For they said, Our God hath delivered Samson our enemy into our hands. So they say. And when the people saw him, they praised their God. For they said, Our God are delivered into our hands our enemy and the destroyer of our country which slew many of us. And it came to pass when their hearts were merry, they said, Call for Samson that he may make us sport. And they called for Samson out of the prison house, and he made them sport, and they set him between the pillars. And Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand, Suffer me that I may feel the pillars, whereupon the house standeth, that I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women, and all the lords of the Philistine were there, and there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women that beheld while Samson made sport. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O God, that I may be at once avenged the Philistine for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was borne up of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left hand. And Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might. And the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. So, he, so the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Verse 31 and appointed. Then his brethren and all the house of his father came down. And took him and brought him up and buried him between Zora Esterhal in the barren place of Manor, his father. And he judged Israel 20 years. Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and my sisters, it is my distinct 
privilege to present to you a man called at such a time as this. We are living in a world where catastrophe and mayhem is right around us and uncertainty befalls many of us. He is an end time preacher and an end time warrior. And with his message second in the series, don't celebrate yet. There is something you haven't noticed. Don't celebrate yet. There is something you haven't noticed. Please put your hands together and help me make welcome none other than Bishop Dr. Gigi Cooper in care of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, sir. Remain standing in the house. It's prayer time. And I know you're waiting for the second in the series. But I can't even walk without him holding my hand. I wish I had magical power. <laughs> I would use it discreetly, but I don't. But Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If you should draw yourself from me, to whom, whether shall I go? Now it's another night and I stand in this house. Your presence is here perpetually. Your eyes are here. Your anointing is here. You promised you would be here. You dedicated and consecrated this house for your glory and for your purpose and for your name. I stand in the Shekinah of the Holy Ghost. I stand upon the shed blood. I stand upon the cross and declare Jesus is Lord tonight. We announce, decree, and declare that the gates of hell cannot, shall not, and will not prevail. We arrest every devil in the atmosphere, every foul spirit lurking around this house. We reassign you, handcuff you, drive you mad and crazy. We arrest every critic. We try down our stakes. We define our borders. And we tell every Delilah spirit. We tell every Philistine spirit. The anointing is in the house. And once the anointing is in the house, you cannot destroy. Thanks now for revelation, inspiration, and impartation. In Christ's name, and give the Lord a clap offering. And be seated in the house of the living God. Many of you are raised up as curse breakers in your family. Did you know that God raised up to break generation ancestral curses in your family lineage? Do you know that you are maybe the only one God saving your family? You're the only one that is filled with the Holy Ghost. You're the only one that has a revelationary call. You're the only one that is blessed to worship like this. Oh, you sit down and look at me. But I know who I am. Touch your neighbor and say, I know who I am. I'm born to deliver my generation. I'm a generation changer. Now the Bible said in Judges 13, 1, that the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. And God delivered them into the hand of the Philistines 40 years. 40 years is a long time to be under the whiplash of the enemy. Talk to yourself like you're coming from mud house, which you're not. And tell the devil 40 years is too long for you to hold me down. Ah, shut up. 40 years are too long for me to be struggling. 40 years is too long, mama, to be in bondage. Too long not to be saved. 40 years is too long for Satan riding on your back. 
40 years is too long to be in a church without your deliverance 40 years too long to be in a church without the Holy Ghost 40 years is too long to be smoking and drinking and womanizing stamp your feet and tell the devil 40 years are too long all the way from Stony Hill, Jamaica. 40 years is too long to be in the service without an anointing. 40 years is too long to be sitting down in church warming bench without being a deliverer. God touched you from your mama's womb. You're called and chosen. You're anointed and appointed by Almighty God. 40 years the enemy been taking authority over your family good god i feel like i want to preach sit down a wild church and pray with me 40 years look at me sister prime minister look at me brother minister of government with due respect to your office look at me security officers god bless you look at me public officials 40 years too long for the devil to have jamaica under control 40 years too long Now, we continue from last week. And I took an extra time to back up a little bit. Now, you have to understand the intensity of this message. It's not just between a woman called Delilah and Shams. It's greater than that. Samson's dead. Delilah is dead. But that spirit is everywhere this morning, tonight. That spirit is in your house. That spirit is at your workplace. That spirit is in parliament. That spirit is in the White House. That spirit is in the parliament. That spirit is in church. That spirit is in business. Now we said last week that Samson was an anointed man given, was an anointed child given to Manoah and his wife. He came at a very crucial time in the history of Israel. Pray with me somebody. He came when the Philistines were in their 40th destructive reign. The Philistines were anti-God, anti-Israel, anti divinity everything that was divine everything that was holy anything that lived up the name of Jehovah they were against it they were exploiters they were dangerous they were many they had equipment they were smart they were industrial in their output and Israel was a godly nation when they followed the Lord. And so for 40 years, Israel was under the whiplash and oppression of the Philistines. Pray with me, somebody. And Israel was badly in need of a deliverer. A deliverer. And God heard the cry of his people. And gave a special judge called Samson. He was a very unique personality. He was handsome. He was anointed. He was attractive. He was endued from birth with supernatural power. He was not an ordinary man. He had supernatural, superhuman strength. But there were some criteria, some conditions that was upon him, just like there's some conditions upon you and I. 
you can't do what you want to do and go where you want to go and say where you want to say because you are a child of the most high God you are called by God come out from among them separate yourself holiness unto the Lord and God says Samson Manoah, train your son right. He's going to be a Nazarite. His hair must not be shaven. A type of his strength. He must not put any alcoholic beverages into his body. No wine. No tobacco. Mm -hmm. No nicotine demons. For his body now becomes a temple of the Holy Ghost. He grew up. And he started to attract attention. How many know that the anointing attracts? You didn't hear what I say church. The anointing attracts. Any one of you that carry the anointing. You attract devils and demons. And the Philistines start to take note of the young man how many know that when the anointing is on your life people are going to notice you your man of God over your house is going to notice you they're going to notice you at work they're going to notice you when you travel because you are not an ordinary person there is a stamp of divinity there's a stamp of supernatural blessing on your life you know why the enemy is going to you're going to be attracted because you are raised up as a deliverer now not only am I raised up but every one of you that is representing your household whether you're married or single parent if God has chosen you call you out you're baptized sanctified living holy and filled with the Holy Ghost you are raised up as a generation life changer you are raised up to break the satanic diabolical yoke over your household you are raised up to trample and defeat demons and devils you are raised up in the school those of you that are saved young people in the school some of you are prefix you've been raised up by almighty God in your school many of you police officers you come out of the country you are churchmen, you are godly men and you have joined the Jamaica Constabulary Force you have been raised up by almighty God as an example in the police force, in the JDF we have many Holy Ghost young men and young women in the JDF, in the Constabulary Force we got Holy Ghost men in the judiciary lawyers and judges a godly men raised up by God Slap your neighbor and said, wake up, you've been raised up. I was at a certain office, went to get some material up in Kingston. And it was evening time. And I met one brother who was an ardent listener and view of revival time. Are you praying with me or are you just watching me? You don't have to clap, just pray in the spirit. And say, Lord, I know it, my bishop. And he introduced me to his sister, to his sister, to his cousin. And I was surprised to understand how many spirit-filled people were working in that industry. You go into offices and places. You go into this, you go into the hospital. You'd be surprised how many anointed doctors and nurses. We got doctors from Temple of Praise and nurses from Temple of Praise who are working in institutions. You've been called by God. I'm gonna come up in a while. Stay under the anointed. 
And now you pray. If you pray, God will release. You've been anointed. But the anointed carry responsibilities. No strong drink. No cutting of the locks. You have your locks, but you drink. You got your locks, but you smoke. You got your locks, but you woman eyes. It don't work like that. Be he holy, for the Lord is holy. Be he clean, that carries the vessels of God. It's not a message to clap, it's dangerous. Stay with me. But when you've been raised up, you're going to be watched and scrutinized. And your enemy is studying you. While you smoke gambling and corrosion, your enemy is studying, studying every move, every move. So the Philistines took note of the young man, Samson. He was versatile. He was an heavyweight champion. Touch your neighbor and said, it's time for heavyweight champions. I'm tired of the featherweight and the lightweight Christians. I'm tired of the featherweight and lightweight preachers. Tell somebody, it's time for the heavyweight champion. It's going into battle. And you got to understand that when you're going into battle, you got to get ready. You got to get ready. Watch this. Stand up this side. I'm going to demonstrate something. This side, the rest of you. If my assignment was easy, if I was a performer, and if I was called to perform, my assignment would be easy. Listen to me carefully. If my assignment was to be a performer and a jerk and a joker, it would be easy. Watch this. Now you got sense. Give yourself a clap. You got sense. If that was my assignment on CVM, it would be very easy. Stand up again. If I was an actor and a performer and a crowd pleaser. <sighs> now, if I was an actor and a performer on a Sunday morning, lift up your hands, son. You're growing too tall. They set you to grow tall like a tree, but I come to break the curse. Pick him up. You're growing too tall. Bring him up. You're growing too tall. They set you to grow. Pick him up. If I was an doctor, my job would be easy. If I was a celebrity, my job would be easy. But I'm called as the end time messenger. I'm called to preach deliverance. I'm called to drive back devils and demons. I'm not here to bring attraction and perform duties. I'm here to preach the word. And it shall cut like a two-edged sword. And devour the works of the devil. I'm called under Jeremiah Joshua. Root up and pull up and destroy. I come to tell Jamaica, you better get right with God. You better change your way. Judgment is at your doorstep. You better turn, for judgment is coming. I'm not an actor, I'm a preacher. And if I'm a preacher, I gotta preach. Preach with fire. 
Jeremiah, I'll make the people as wood and the word in your mouth as fire and it shall devour them. I'm called with a dangerous word. I'm called with a righteous word. I'm called with a word of liberation, a word of victory, a word of deliverance, a word of salvation. Get right with God. Sit down. Or your anointing can dry out quick. They're watching you. Your enemy is watching you. The Bible said first thing. I told you last week that Samson was vulnerable. Some of you going on like you're superhuman. Some of your preacher going like you're superhuman preacher. You're not. Some of you going like you own the anointing. You don't. Some of you going on like you own healing. You don't. For it's not by might nor by power. But by my spirit. The show time is over. Your acting time is over. Hollywood is over. Get right with God. So the Philistines had Sam's on the on their binocular. Sit down in church like your Miss Goody Two Shoe. Sit down there, you little dead Sabbatarians on Sabbath morning all across Jamaica, with your little teeny weeny dry up shout, and you don't even have a shout, and don't know to fight the Philistines. It takes the power. Samson was under the scrutiny of the enemy. You can sit in the service and don't know while you're sitting down the devil have you in his reach. And they said, Delilah, first of all, Samson looked for love in the wrong place. Stop looking for love in the wrong place. You are a child of God. You cannot find love on Facebook. You cannot find love on Twitter site. You cannot find true love at singles.com because all them places are infiltrated with enemies. So Samson found love in the wrong place. And even in the camp of his enemy. Some of your church folks want to marry to unsave. You were called to destroy Philistines. Yet you want to marry into Philistines country. You saw what happened to David in 1 Samuel 30. When he went up into the camp of the Philistines to help King Achish fight battle and left Ziklag unattended and when he came back Ziklag was burnt and his wives were taken it, it will happen again you're looking for love you can't find love in the rum bar you can't find love in the sex club you can't find love in a whorehouse you can't find love in a dance hall you find love with the people of the living in God somebody shout in the house she pleased me well she pleased you well but she gonna destroy you mother said son you don't see anybody else you love say no mom this is a woman of my choice some of you are meeting hell today. Some of you Christians 
You're meeting hell today because you didn't listen to your pastor. You didn't listen to the prayer warriors. You didn't listen to people who are in touch with God. All you want was you was lust crazy and sex mad. You weren't worried, concerned whether she was saved or he was saved. You just wanted sex. Some of you just married for sex. Some of you don't marry in the will of God. You're not concerned about the will of God. And in the way of God, you just want sex. So Samson fell in love with the harlot. Do you know how many women out there just wanted to go into bed? with them to trick you they just want you to put their names in your bank account so they can draw out every penny they just want you to put your name put put she just wants you to put her name on the business in the business transaction in the land on the land title she not in love with you she don't want you she just want what you got and hold on there lest the ladies think that I'm picking on you let's get something straight Delilah is not just a woman Delilah is just not it's not just a man Delilah is a woman a man a place a situation an environment that is sent and mobilized to destroy your assignment and to wipe you out and to stop you Delilah is a spirit it's a deceptive destructive seducive seductive spirit Philistine said, come here girl. We give you 1100 shekels of silver each. You become a multi-millionaire overnight. If you can take out the preacher. Tell your neighbor you're under watch. There's a contract out for your anointing, Bishop. Bishop, you're watching me. There's a contract out for your anointing. Preacher man, there's a contract out for your ministry. There's a contract out in your life to wipe you out, to close you down, and to shut your mouth. Sister, there's a contract out on your anointing to shut you down, close you down, and muzzle you for life. There's a contract out on your church. There's a contract out on every anointed woman and man of God. got to hurry are you praying and Delilah said tell me sweet sweet Willie my sweet back Willie my starry high Willie my broad chest Willie my sweet sweet Willie I said stars tinkle Twinkling in your eyes, my lover, my dove, my pose, my undefiled. You're my sugar in my tea. You're my honey and my milk in my coffee. You're the sweetest broad dress man I ever meet. Come, baby, sleep on my lap. And she made him sleep upon her lap, her knees. Chapter 16, verse 19. And she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. And she began to afflict him. And his strength went from him. As I was meditating. This evening. And I looked in the political field. Pray with me somebody. I said, God, we are in the wilderness in Jamaica for over 50 years. We have just celebrated our jubilee. But we are in a political quagmire. We are in an economic mess. We have to have a deliverer. I said, God, where is that man? Where is that woman? That you, are ra you have raised up and is going to raise up to deliver us. 
Lift your hand and say, God send a deliverer. Jamaica needs a deliverer. The church world needs a deliverer. For it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. God has to send a deliverer. A deliverer has to come to help Jamaica to lift us out of the quagmire, to lift us out of the economic crisis. Yes, yes. And so Samson, although he was sent with his power, he could kill a lion. With his power, he took up iron gates. With his power, he killed a thousand Philistines. With his anointing, he wiped out Philistines. With his anointing, he could defeat his enemy. Good God, somebody said, Lord, with your anointing, I can do anything. But now, Samson is in the lap, on the lap of Delilah. Samson has sold out his anointing. Help me, Holy Ghost. Samson has sold out his secret. Delilah had him trapped. Delilah afflicting him. Good God. Delilah is about to betray him. We're on the network. You're about to be betrayed. Be betrayed by Delilah. Jesus is about to be betrayed by Judas. Judas had a Delilah spirit. Peter had a Delilah spirit. Yes, yes, but the anointing was still on him. But once God anoints you, that anointing abides. You can't wipe me out. You might afflict me. You might hurt me. But I'm coming back. You forget one thing. Delilah, you save me. But the anointing is still in me. Delilah, you sell me out. But I still got God. Tell somebody I still got my God. Samson. Samson. Samson now is afflicted and asleep. And she called for the lords of the Philistines. Careful in whose lap you're sleeping. Careful in whose barber shop you go. Careful which hairdresser you attend. Every one of them has a Delilah spirit. Careful the convocation, the conversation Delilah strikes up while you're in the chair. And she said, The Philistines be upon you. And the Philistines took him. Let me hurry. I don't want to leave you in the valley tonight. The Philistines took him. Pull out his two eyes. And set him to grind. The next ten minutes is going to be dangerous. Set him to grind. And they said it's over. Echabob. It's over. Lift your hands to almighty God. Open up your mouth wide and say devil. It's not over until my God said it's over. Declaring the heavens, I'm wounded, but I'm not out, knocked down, but not destroyed. Delilah, you forget one thing. You let them abuse me. They pull out my eyes. I become a slave. But, 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 but you forget one thing. Let's go to that one thing tonight. Somebody help me right now. Delilah forgot that Samson God, his promise is sure. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. 
His love is unchangeable. His reign is righteous. He's a gateway to glory. He's a master of the mighty. He's a captain of the conqueror. He's a gateway to deliverance. He's a doorway of peace. He's a deliverer of the captives. He defends the feeble. He supplies strength to the weak. Throw up your hands and tell the Lord, supply my strength. Lord, Lord, he's a miracle of the age. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He's the uncomparable heavyweight champion. And so, come with me now. Come with me now. Come with me now. Samson was down, but he was not out. You ain't preaching now. Samson was blind, but in the spirit, he could still see. Your enemies think they got you locked. Your enemies think they got you down. But while he was there, something miraculous start to happen and one day they had a great feast 3,000 lords of the Philistines gathered to make fun and to make sport out of the man of God tell enemies you can't make sport you can't make sandwich because I carry the anointing come on everybody get dangerous wake up in your house wake up in your house tell the enemy I'm down tell all your worker exers and vexers necromancy bad mind corrupt evil deceptive wicked poison out all your worker you got me messed up but I'm not out he anoints my head with oil and my cup run it over restore it my soul surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life get up woman and i shall dwell get up woman in the house of the lord something stupendous something miraculous is going to happen and 19 and when they thought Samson was finished something happened is here his anointing is here started to grow our God is a restorer our God is a deliverer he restore it touch yourself and say God is about to restore my anointing God is about to restore your health God is about to restore your strength God is about to turn your ministry turn your life turn around and tell Lucifer that God is about ready to turn my life and Samson was taken out for him to be made sport of tell the enemy you can't make a sport out of the anointing tell the enemy you can't conquer the anointing you can't suppress the anointing you can't defeat the anointing you can't kill the anointing you can't destroy the anointing and the lad that was carrying him Samson said take me to the main pillar I feel my help coming take me to the main pillar I feel my strength Woo! I feel my strength take me to the place where I first receive you take me back tell the Lord take me back to the place where you anoint me take me back to the prayer room take me back down on my knees take me back to intercessory prayer take me back to fasting take me back to my praise connection take me back and when God heard the cry 
of Samson and the anointing start to shake somebody shake in his body and God the Holy Ghost came down upon him take a hole take a hole take a hole take a hole of the enemy take a hole of the devils and demon shake them down shake down the gates of hell shake the powers of hell shake hope your worker shake candle burner shake the warlords shake the wicked shake them until they're finished shake Shake your enemies oh, 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 oh. and shake your enemy, shake your enemy, shake your enemy. Stand in the house, everybody. Stand up, everybody. got to leave you stretch your hands I command you to shake in the Holy Ghost till you shake your enemies I command you to shake until your anointing return shake until every demon lie at your feet shake until every devil fall down dead shake I got to leave you on revival time your bishop needs to hear from you God is shaking in your business shaking in your house shaking in your church your anointing and your blessing and your miracle is coming back chop your hands and tell it's coming back it's coming back shake and tell the enemy you got to return until next week at the same time through the facilities of these great stations that release revival time your direction your TV radio pastor, Gigi Cooper, rem reminding you that the enemy has not noticed that your anointing is coming back, that your joy is coming back, that your praise is coming back, that your strength is coming back, that your shout is coming back. Shout! 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 It's coming back! It's coming back! It's coming back in the name of Jesus. It's coming back by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shout, it's coming back. Show up your hands and close your eyes and tell God I thank you. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him. Thank him. And tell the enemy, watch out, watch out, watch out. My anointing is coming back. My anointing is coming back. My hair is growing. My hair is growing, my hair is growing, my hair is growing back. God said to tell you, your hair is growing back. Your strength is coming back. Your praise is coming back. Your victory is coming back. Your healing is coming back. Visions and dreams are coming back.